This is question five from a series of videos taking a look at the NXL practice papers. Here we're told that the diagram shows a circular pond with a path around it. We've got this diagram here. Then we're told that the pond has a radius of five meters. So that's our pond in the middle. And then the path has a width of one meter. So this is that shaded part is our path. We're asked to work out the area of the path. So essentially what we're trying to do is we're trying to work out the area of this shaded path. Now, if I look at this diagram carefully, what I can do is I can think of this as this outer, I can think of it as being an outer circle, okay, so a larger circle with a smaller circle cut out of the middle. So if I were to work out the area of the larger circle, then from that area, take away the area of the smaller circle, that would tell me what the area of just that shaded part is. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to use the formula for the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. And I'm going to start by working out the area of this larger circle. So if I think about this, if the radius of this smaller circle is 5 and the width of the path is 1 meter, that means that the radius for this larger circle around the outside would be 6. So the larger circle would be pi times 6 squared. And then from that, I'm going to take away the area of the smaller circle, which is pi times the radius, which is 5. And then we're squaring it for our formula. So if I make this calculation, that will leave me with just the area of the shaded part. So calculating this, I've got um, pi times pi times 6 squared minus pi times 5 squared. And working that out gives me 11 pi. And this will give me uh, 34.55751919. We're asked to give it to three significant figures. So three significant th figures is going to give us 34 point uh, 34.6 so that's going to give us 34.6 and that's meters squared